Shit, welcome to another episode of The Wheels of Fury Worlds Collide. It's Royal Rumble weekend. Yes, yes Worlds Collide is tomorrow evening. Yep. You got NXT, you got NXT UK. Yeah, this is gonna be awesome. The battle for brand supremacy, essentially. Yeah. It's not just America versus the United Kingdom, it's you got like fucking everything. Oh yeah. You know, and it's like, it's gonna be awesome, like I said. It's just one of those things where, and uh, I've already said this time and time again, NXT has always been the better brand. Yeah. In WWE, so. For sure. This is gonna be one of those things where it's like, NXT has always been the better brand, if you will. Mm -hmm. But. Which is the better of the two better brands? If that makes any sense. It's something to say five times fast. <laughs> yeah, no, I understand. I definitely agree with that. You know, and then it's one of those things where you go, all right, you've got one stable that's dominant versus another stable that's dominant. Yeah. And who's going to come out? Yeah, basically. Who's going to be the more dominant Yeah, stable? who's going to, yeah, basically. So, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, and I know you are. Oh, so hell yeah. Let's get fucking started. Dude! We're things off with a singles match with Mia Yim and Kaylee Ray. Yep, and again, you know, I know that Kaylee Ray is the. UK NXT Women's Champion. Yeah, you've got Kelly Ray as the UK Champion for the women, and you think that, you know, would you put it out of the line at this point? I don't know. But it'll be interesting to see who's better. I know that Mia Yim's been in NXT now for at least a, a year and a half. But with that, yeah. You've had her wrestle a few times in Smash. You had her obviously on Impact for years and it's only a matter of time before she gets a title put on her. Oh, I believe so. And, and I didn't realize this either, but she's only 30. Oh yeah, she's still pretty much in the prime of her life and the prime of her career, you could say. I mean... As I'm sure we all know by now, Mia Yim was part of the Impact Wrestling roster as Jade. Yeah. She was a part of the dollhouse with Marty Bell, who we saw just a little bit ago watching an episode of yeah, At WA yeah. Power. Yeah. And as well with Tiffany? Yeah, I think it was Tiffany. Yeah, it was Tiffany. Alright. Yeah, Madison Rain, yeah, she was a part of it. But I think Jade wasn't not in there. And of course, once the dollhouse played up, Jade went on her own. She was challenging for the Impact Women's Championship. <laughs> Gail Kim kind of took her under her wing for a little bit. And then I guess she went 
to the independent scene for a little while. Yeah, and she then, wrestled Matt Riddle on Smash. And ended up on NXT. Yeah, so, I mean, she's had a really good run. She's had some very good feuds. And this match is going to be fucking incredible. Oh, I think so. I mean, Kaylee Ray, you know, I just had a match. Yes. With Tony Storm and Piper Pevin. Piper Niven. Piper, yeah. So, she beat those two women. Who knows what's going to happen with her and Mia Yim. Oh, yeah, for sure. Mia, I feel, is going to have the advantage. Yeah. When it comes to striking. And maybe submissions. Yeah. Kaylee, I think, has a little more experience, though. Really? I, I'm not a hard percent sure, but something like that. Yeah, she could have wrestled in progress at some point, too. Yeah. But... I think, for my pick, I'm gonna go with Mia Yim. And it's nothing to take away from Kylie Ray. It's just, I think, that I've seen Mia in a lot more matches. Yeah. And in a lot more promotions. I'm sure that Kylie Ray has wrestled on um, progress or insane championship wrestling yes. in Europe. So I am pretty sure it's going to be a great match either way, but I'm still going to say Mia Yim. You keep calling her Kylie, right? Kylie. No, nah, whatever. <laughs> so, anyway, with Kylie Ray just having come off of title defense and NXT UK TakeOver Blackpool 2, Against Piper Niven and Tony Storm. She's had like two weeks to recover and rest and whatever. I just don't know if she will have that same desire to win. Like it should be a good match. But it could be one of those things where because the championship isn't on the line. There may not be that same urgency to win although i mean when it comes to fighting for your brand if you will there's going to have that little extra pep in your step that determination to prove that you're better than your opponent and your brand's better than the other brand you know yeah this in a way reminds me of survivor series but not on as such a high of a level. Oh, okay. Like, like it's on a high level, but Survivor Series is more of a higher level than mm -hmm. this is going to be. That all being said, I feel Mia Yim is going to have a lot more to prove than Kaylee Ray, so I'm taking Mia on this one. Ah, that's right. So, good luck to Cooley V. <laughs> anyway, Cooley V. Yeah. Cooley V. Okay, then. have a tag team match a one more time reunion yeah. of DIY the team of Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa against Mustache Mountain Trent Seven and Tyler Bate hell yeah this is gonna be a hell of a fight too oh yeah I mean both those guys definitely are excellent in the ring and I mean we haven't seen Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa together for a few months at least. Yeah. So it'll be a, exciting to see them in the ring. Mustache Mountain, I really enjoy, you know, one of the best in UK NXT. I think that, you know, for what it's worth, Tyler Bate is also one of the best singles wrestlers in the UK. I think this is going to be a great match. If I were to pick, though, that would be kind of difficult. Because yeah. there's, like, two different styles on both oh, yeah. teams. Two, two very different styles. Two very good teams. Two very popular teams. Yeah. And you could definitely file this one under the dream match category. Yeah. I for sure agree with that. Yeah. I mean, 
it's gonna be awesome teamwork. Oh yeah, I think you know Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa prove themselves to be they're two of the best. Yes, for sure. And of course, Mustache Mountain. Now I don't know much about Trent Seven as a singles wrestler. Right. Again, not as familiar with NXT UK. Yeah. I have it on the PVR, but I've yet to watch all those matches. Right. All those shows. Yes. But knowing Mustache Mountain and seeing a few of their matches as a tape team, I think that they're awesome as well. Again, two different styles, but if I were to pick, I would probably... Well, it's really hard to say. Yeah. I want to be biased and go with one team. <laughs> but, I don't know. Let's put it this way. It'll be a good match. It'll be fun to watch and just enjoy it. Yeah. Who cares who freaking wins, man, honestly? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> The fatal far away for the far away for the NXT Cruiserweight Championship. You've got uh, champion Angel Garza being challenged by Isaiah Spurs Scott, the Irish Ace Jordan Devlin, and the Kiwi Buzzsaw Travis Banks. Holy shit! You've got all four of these guys. Again, it's, that's so hard to choose. You Angel Garza, Hector Garza Jr., however you want to call him, has been one of the best wrestlers I have ever seen in, you know, the New Day. Like, and I don't mean the New Day is the New Day, but like, the modern day. Oh yeah. This guy is a pedigree, you know, has fun called wrestling in Mexico, and it's like... This guy has been on a roll on Impact. Oh, yeah. He's wrestled on NXT now. Yes. And I know that he has been on either... Well, he has to have been on CML. Oh, yeah. Because his uncle was. But this guy has it. He just does. And his work in the ring is so fucking awesome. Oh, yeah. That I just don't see him... Losing the title right now. Yeah, I don't see it either. That being said, Jordan Devlin is also an awesome wrestler. And I yes. I'm not going to say this all throughout the fucking reaction show. But this guy definitely has had one of the best years. Oh, I would say so. I can't think of a bad match with him. No. You know, Isaiah Swerve, another wrestler that has been on a different promotion and well I can't again for some reason can't I want to say ACH but that's not it no no uh Isaiah Swerve Scott previously was on uh Evolve okay yeah for a little bit before coming to NXT uh no regardless I mean holy shit one of the most aggressive wrestlers that I've seen in a match. I mean, yeah, he can sing, he could dance and move and have a good time, but once he's on, he's fucking hard, he's stiff in the ring, and just fucking insane. He's hard and he's stiff, is he? Yeah, I know. Yeah, Isaiah Swerve Scott is one of those guys that he likes to have fun, he dances, and he's doing all these different things, but then once that bell rings, he switches it to another gear, and he can go. I mean, I think they should have them partner more often, and maybe be a team I don't know about permanently, but at least a little more regularly. Mm -hmm. Isaiah Swerve Scott and Leo Rush. Yeah. Those two make a great team. They both have the same Mm -hmm. mentality, the same style, if you will. Mm. Be quick, be sudden, you know, have high flying moments, but also have 
a good ground-based style of wrestling as well. And you want to talk about a United Nations match, if you will. You got the Latino, an American, an Irishman, and uh, you know, New Zealander. Yeah, yeah, the Kiwi. Kiwi Buzzsaw. Yeah. Travis Banks. Oh, the next match is along the same lines as well. We'll get to that in a minute. Yeah, I think that the Kiwi Buzzsaw is. A I mean, I much rather see the first three that we mentioned. Yes. I'm not taking anything away from him, but I don't know. It's hard to say, but I'm honestly going to have to say that Angel Garza will retain the title. I think Angel will keep the title too, only because he's only held the title for a little while. Yeah. And he... I'd like to see him have the title a little bit more and develop more as a heel character. If the time comes where he loses the title, then that's fine. But right now, just keep the title on him and let him run his course and develop as a character and as a heel. Yeah. Hopefully he'll be a good champion. But I mean, I think I'd rather see... Hector Garza Jr. taking on Isaiah Swerve one-on-one -on -one for the title, or even Jordan Devlin. I don't know what's going to happen, but yeah, like I said, I want to see Hector go on one-on-one -on -one with at least three of those guys. Because oh, yeah. Because I just don't think that they should win. On Saturday, I think it's gonna go to Angel Garza. Yeah. I mean, it should be a, a damn good match and very exciting and fun to watch. Just don't think that. Like, don't take anything away from the other three. They're amazing competitors, and I think one day will be championship material. Yeah. Just, I really feel like. Angel's gonna keep the title tomorrow. Yeah. Speaking of United Nations, though, we go on to the next match. We got an Irishman against a Russian. Oh. And Finn Balor, the prince, against Ilya Dragunov. Ah. Yes. Oh. oh my god, I'm looking forward to this match. You know, you've got the Russian guy, you've got fucking. Drag off, and I've seen him wrestle many times yeah. on fucking NXT UK, and it's about time they had another Russian guy in the fucking ring, and I mean his match, and I don't remember who it was with, but it was one of the best matches that I've seen in quite some time. And then you've got someone like Finn Balor, the guy that's been on fucking New Japan, and he was Prince Devitt. Yes. And he's got the heel thing going for him again. So you you took this guy and you pair him off with this guy. Who knows what the hell can happen. Yeah. I mean, Dragoff has his own style. And Balor has his own style. You know, we haven't seen Balor really wrestle NXT UK for a long time. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. But holy shit, this is a treat. This is something that I can't wait for. I wanted to see Dragoff in a pay-per-view and I'm finally gonna get to see him wrestle against, in my opinion, one of the most underrated wrestlers today in Finn Balor. Yeah. This match really all came about just as like Balor's been watching Dragunov on NXT UK and sees a lot of similarities in him of himself in Dragunov and it feels like he's just that much better than Dragunov so I mean this would be a very good match a very fun match to watch as well one thing I am glad about even though don't hear him talk all that much 
at least Dragonoff is uh, a lot more articulate. Oh yeah. Than let's say uh, Vladimir Kozlov. This guy going into the ring and he's doing the conductor thing. Yeah. You know, and he's got the red hat uh, eye dye. You know. Uh, those yeah. are contacts, boy. Trust me. I know. <laughs> I'm that fucking excited. So, yeah, honestly, I don't know. <laughs> because I haven't, again, I've only seen like two matches from Thraganov. However, I mean, the match I did see was the fucking best in my opinion, on NXT UK. I, however, think that Finn Balor, I've seen a lot more, obviously, through the years, and I think that he's also, despite what everyone else thinks, one of the best wrestlers in WWE today. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I just don't fucking know, man. And I, I mean, it's going to be a great match. Yeah. If I had to choose one, though, I'm going to have to say Balor. I mean, I mean, my heritage is great and everything, but I, well, you know what, I'm also half Irish, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, you're half fucking Irish and part Russian. Dude. Yeah, so, so it doesn't, uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. I mean, it's going to be awesome either way. Yeah, this match is going to be entertaining as hell. To call the winner in this match, like saying what country's better. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's true. So, I mean... Although I don't think you'd catch me in Russia. <laughs> true, but... Nevertheless. Yeah, nevertheless, I think it's gonna be awesome. Oh, yeah. And, I mean, I can't wait. <laughs> so now we go on to a match for the NXT Women's Championship. We've got the current champion, Rhea Ripley. I don't know why I said that with an accent, but being challenged by, I I would say, one of her longtime best friends that she's known since she was like 16 years old, Tony Storm. Yeah. Of course, we mentioned her already with a match with Kaylee Ray and Piper Darwin and a triple threat for the NXT UK Women's Championship. Yeah. And the one thing that I really found interesting is Tony really felt like she could regain the NXT UK Women's Championship and then go into this match at Worlds Collide and take the title from Rhea and become Tony Two Belts. But that didn't go over very well and uh -huh. Tony felt like she got slighted at UK TakeOver Blackpool 2 mm. and I mean you watch that match and it very easily could have gone Tony's way and Kaylee was able to capitalize mm. on the situation and retain the championship yeah make this short and sweet we have a point yeah I don't see Rhea losing the championship she's only held it since the end of December just about. We want you know, it's gonna be an awesome match, and I was nothing against Tony Storm, but when you see fucking Rhea Ripley and War Games, oh yeah, fuck, are you serious right now? I know, right? Like that's just, I don't see Tony Storm as the champion. I mean, her time could come eventually. Yeah. Just not on Saturday. Taking anything away from Tony, she's a hell of a wrestler, hell of a competitor. Damn good in the ring. I just, it's not Tony's time no. just yet. Not Tony's time at all. So now we go on to the last match on the card, and could be the main event of the evening. And very easily could be match of the night. You got an eight-man tag match. Imperium against the Undisputed Era. Yeah. We were talking about this on a Facebook chat. And two dominant teams on NXT UK and NXT. Which... I mean, it's hard to choose. Yeah. There's not very many face staples on... No. 
WWE in general. So yeah. it's like I don't know who to cheer for. I mean, yeah, exactly. I I think it was cool to see Undisputed Era take down Imperium. Yeah, and vice versa. Right. When I look at someone like Walter, there is no getting past him. No. Not a chance. I mean, yeah. It's a, yeah, a toss up with him and Wolf. Oh, yeah, for sure. I don't know. I like Undisputed Era. I just don't think that they will get past Imperium, and I'll be very goddamn surprised. <laughs> very surprised if they do here, really. I feel Valta could be the X Factor, if you will, of this match. Mm. Like, Unspirited Era is great. They had all the championships, but now Roderick Strong doesn't have the North American Championship anymore. Spoiler if you haven't seen NXT yet, but yeah. Yeah, Walter is one of those guys that he's big, he's fairly strong, he's surprisingly athletic, and he hits like a ton of damn bricks. Uh, yeah. And for Undisputed Era to get past him, we saw what they did to uh, Imperium at Blackpool 2. And I think that's the only way you're go ever going to take down Walter. Yeah. So. That all being said, Walter being X Factor, Undisputed Era, using all four of them to take down Walter, and Walter, I'm sure, will throw all of them around like they're nothing. I see Imperium taking this one. I really do. And because I love animals, let's go with the animal analogy. It'll be like a pack of wolves taking down a fucking grizzly. Yeah. So. And will it happen? Who knows? I mean, the possibilities are endless, and I think. There is a way you can take down Walter, but I just don't know what it is. Yeah. And so, I mean, you got the veterans in Undisputed Era, and so we'll see where this goes. I think Alexander Wolf is definitely another one that is doing it in himself. Yes. You have Vaping and Eichner that, well, I mean, they're average sized, so yeah. I don't think they're as much of a threat. Uh, my opinion. Yeah. I think it's unfortunately going to be Imperium. Yeah, for sure. For sure, for sure. For shows it. <laughs> for shizzle. For shizzle and nizzle. And so that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, I just can't wait to see what happens in the Royal Rumble predictions. Uh huh. But. Yeah, so this has been the NXT, or well, NXT. UK and American Worlds Collide Prediction Show. Uh -huh. This year it seems to be you have an actual Worlds Collide Show. Yeah, exactly. You've got Scottish people, the Scottish wrestlers, you've got a Russian wrestler, a German wrestler, an Austrian wrestler, an Irish wrestler, Scottish wrestler. I said that already. Various American wrestlers. Various American wrestlers. No Canadian ones, unfortunately, but it's going to be a really good show, man. I, I can't wait. I'm looking forward to it. So, anyways, for me, Matt, that's Killer Kyle. Yeah. Hell yeah. We will talk to you in a bit. See you.